much. I'm 40 now, and I've got to say, I'm into being 40 because I know this is as good as it gets. This is as good as it gets. I'm not saying this is good, but this <laughs> is as good as it gets from here. It's a slow, inexorable slide into death. So you've got to enjoy this shit while you can. And it's interesting looking back at the past decades, the simple things that made you happy. Like from zero to nine, you were pretty happy if you got through the day without doing a poo in your pants. <laughs> it's the end of the day, I don't have a poo in my pants. Well played, Hamo. <laughs> when you're teenage years, if there's any mums here who have teenage boys, respect to mums, respect to mums, respect to mums. Because teenage boys are disgusting. They are disgusting. It's all about sperm. It's all about sperm. <laughs> oh, I had a sexy dream. <laughs> sperm, it's disgusting. <laughs> Kill kind of looked at me. <laughs> sperm, it's disgusting. <laughs> oh, a gentle breeze caressed my cheek on a warm summer's day. <laughs> sperm, it's disgusting. My poor mum had to get another job for the sheets. And the worst thing is, <laughs> things change. Do you know what I mean? Things change and they don't know. They're used to coming in to seeing you at night and say, do you want to kiss goodnight? And you're like, yes, mum. It's like, and it's beautiful. And then one day it changes and there's no warning. Well, there's a mild warning. When they get to the door, they think, that's weird, it's never been jammed before. And as they open the door, they hear a voice from the other side just go, don't you come in here. <laughs> it's disgusting, right? <laughs> then you get to your 20s, woo! Your 20s are cool, because you're going out, you're drinking, you're smoking, you're drinking, you're smoking. Am I gonna go home? No, fuck it, I'm in my 20s. You're drinking, you're smoking, and you can go out on a Thursday night and not get home for eight years. <laughs> You can go straight to work. Everyone says, so what have you been up to? I went out on a Thursday night. I've been partying for eight years and I just came straight to work. Wow, you look amazing. I know, I'm in my 20s. <laughs> then you try the same thing in your 30s. You go out, you drink, you smoke, you drink, you smoke. Am I gonna go home? No, fuck it, I'm still young at heart. You drink, you smoke, go to work the next day. First thing anyone says to you is like, fuck, you had a big night last night. <laughs> Why do you say that? You look 108. <laughs> Devastating. There's some good things about getting older. Do you, do you mind me asking how old you are? 20. 20. I'm going to say something that is going to blow your mind, right? When you get to 40, you will only invite people you like to your birthday party. <laughs> I know. Young people are going, what manner of magic is this? <laughs> Because I used to be like this, I'd have this conversation in my 20s, I'd be with my friends and it's like, so, shall we invite Michelle? Nah, don't invite Michelle, she'll fucking ruin the party. Yeah, but it'll just be easier, it'll just be easier. Nah, you know what she's like, she turns up, she gets drunk, she starts a fight to try to fuck your brother. Nah, it'll just be easier, trust me. Yeah, but you know who she'll bring? Nah, she'll bring Amanda. Oh, fuck, I hate Amanda. Nah, don't invite them. Nah, trust me, we'll just invite them, it'll be easier. And then you invite Michelle and Amanda to your party and they ruin it. Why? Because they're moles. <laughs> this is how the conversation takes place when you're 40. Should we invite Michelle? Nah. She'll be upset. Good. <laughs> Something to look forward to, right? That's good. <laughs> But as you kind of get older as well, you just kind of get angry about shit that doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? Like, big things, I'm as cool as a cucumber, but little things, I lose my mind, right? As an example, people love to give you their opinion when you haven't asked for it. Like, I went down to a store to buy a CD, I go up to the counter, and the guy that's working there, he's got tattoos, and he's wearing, like, a hoodie, and he's got earrings, and he's got rings. Like, he's a real individual. And I go up to the counter... <laughs> I said, I'd like to buy this CD, and he looks at me and goes, ah, uh, I didn't really like it. I'm like, what? He said, I didn't really like it. I said, I didn't ask you that. He said, I'm just giving you my opinion. I said, that's not how this works. <laughs> this is how this works. I walk in, I said, I'd like to buy this. You say, do you have any money? I go, yeah. <laughs> you give me the product, I give you the money, I walk out of here, I never think of you again. If I want to shit our service, I'll return to Melbourne, go up to a cool-looking barista and order a soy latte, watch him burst into tears when he can't make an image of Nick Cave in the fucking froth, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was at a party, my friend and I were talking about movies that we love. We were talking about The Dark Knight Rises, how much we loved it. Over here, a guy I've never met before goes, Hey, mate, 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 I thought that movie was bullshit. So, like, okay, no worries, we get back to talking about it. Do you want to know why? No. Nah, mate, mate, I thought that movie was bullshit because it was unrealistic. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> You're going in knowing it's a movie about a guy who dresses up as a bat, who fights a woman who dresses up as a cat, who fights a guy who suffers from sleep apnea. Where the fuck did you think that was gonna be realistic? 
I'll give you a realistic version of the story of Batman. A little boy with billionaire parents goes out one day, sees his parents killed, it fucks him up. He ends up doing a lot of blow, bangs a lot of hookers, ends up on a show called Celebrity Rehab. You know what that is? That's a realistic story. You know what it's not? Batman, right? <laughs> My friend and I were talking about the movie Looper, just a cool film, right? Over here, the same guy. Hey, Mike, Mike, I thought that movie was bullshit. I said, okay, no worries. Do you want to know why? No. Now, nah, Mike, I thought it was bullshit because the science of time travel didn't make sense. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Two things. One is there is no time travel. There is only theoretical science of time travel. As long as the story makes sense, that's all I care about. Two, if I had a time machine, I'd take you back in time so you could go fuck yourself. <laughs> Talking about the movie The Avengers, just a fun film, right? Just a fun film over here. Hey, Mike, 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 that movie was bullshit. I say, okay, do you want to know why? It's like, no, but I know you're going to fucking tell me. <laughs> Mike, it was bullshit because when he turns into the Hulk, right? Like his shirt rips, but why doesn't his pants rip? <laughs> I'll tell you why, because it's a children's movie in 3D. <laughs> The last thing kids need to see is a big muscly green cock coming straight at them from the screen. <laughs> like, how exhausting is it being that guy? He's sitting there watching the movie going, mate, I'll accept that Norse god, I'll accept that super soldier, I'll accept that guy in the armour, but unless that green motherfucker's pants explode, this movie can go fuck itself. <laughs> Thank you very much. I've been Justin Hamilton. Cheers. Thank you.